In this video, let's see how to find if the given set of equations are consistent or not. That is, whether the solution exists for the given set of equations or not. So, here, first, I would like to mention that the procedure is same as the Gauss elimination method. And we have already discussed this in detail in a video. So, the procedure is same as the Gauss elimination method. So, once we are done with that, first, we have to check the rank of A and the rank of augmented matrix A is to B. Okay, this is the notation rank of A and rank of A is to B we have to check. So, if these two are equal, then the solution exists. Here we have two cases. That is, uh, if N is the number of unknowns. For example, the equation contains X plus Y plus Z, say, uh, some number 3. We have three unknowns here. Here N is equal to, okay, I changed this number so that N is equal to 3, 3 unknowns. So, if the rank of A and rank of A is to B and this unknowns are same, then we have a unique solution. If N is greater than rank of A is to B and rank of A, but these two will be same. Okay, so here rank of A is to B and rank of A are same. Say, for example, uh, this is 2 and if N is 3, in that case, 3 will be greater than 2. So, still the solution is there, system is consistent, but we will be having infinite solution. Because uh, for 3 unknowns, at least I want 3 equations. So, I am assuming Z, that is in this case, Z uh, different values, so I will get infinite solution. And finally, if the rank of A is not equal to rank of A is to B, then the system is inconsistent and we have no solution. So, the example that we discussed already in Gauss elimination method, is consistent and it has unique solution. Let us see some two examples where we have infinite solution and no solution. So, see this example that is x plus y plus z is equal to 2, y minus z is equal to 1 and 2x plus y plus 5z is equal to 0. So, first of all you have to write it in terms of an augmented matrix. Now, see the coefficient of x, it is 1. y is 1, z is 1 and then you have to put a colon and write 2. Similarly, there is no x, so I will write 0x. So, that is why I have written 0 here. 1 and here you have to write along with the negative sign. So, minus 3 colon 1 and the last one coefficient 2, 1, 5 and it is 0. So, we are done with the coefficient. Now, as per uh, Gauss elimination method, we have to make this, this and this, these three values 0. So, it will be like below the diagonal we have to make it 0. So, already this is 0, so no issue. I have to make this 2 as 0. So, 2 is in row 3. So, I am writing row 3 goes to row 3 minus 2 into row 1. So, 2 minus 2 into 1. This is the row 1 value, that is 1 here. So, 2 minus 2 into 1, which is nothing but 0. So, I will write this here. And then, uh, second value, I am taking 1. So, 1 minus 2 into 1. So, uh, this is uh, minus 1 we get. So, I will write minus 1 here. And finally, we have 5 here. So, row 3 values 5 minus 2 into, what is the corresponding value? 1 minus 2 into 1, 5 minus 2, 3. So, I have written 3 here. And we have 0, 0 minus 2. So, 0 minus 2 into 2. So, this will have minus 4. So, I have written this. And now, uh, below the diagonal, I have to make it 0. So, this is done, this is done. Only this is pending. So, um, don't add row 3 and row 1. Okay? No row 3 and row 1 combination. Why? Because already I made this first fellow as 0. So, if I add or subtract this with the row 1, because of this non-zero value, this will again become a non-zero value. So, always try to do the uh, transfer with row 2. And row 2 already it has minus uh, 1 and plus 1. So, if I add 0 plus 0, this will become 0. And this also will become 0. So, this is the correct transaction. That is, now what I am going to do is, row 3 goes to row 3 plus row 2. So, my row 1 remains the same, 1, 1, 1, 2. My row 2 remains the same, 0, 1, minus 3, 1. 
and my row 3 will become 0 plus 0, 0. So, minus 1 plus 1, this also will become 0. And finally, we have minus 3 plus 3, this also became 0. And if you just see here, the values, yeah, you can see. So, minus 3 and plus 3, this also became 0. Minus 4 plus 1, of course, you will get a value that is minus 3. If you see here, the number of unknowns, we have x, y, z in your equations. Uh, what is the rank of E means? Number of non-zero rows. So, this is one non-zero row, this is one more. So, rank of A is 2. And if you see the entire rank of A is to B. If you, you are going to see this, the entire augmented matrix. So, here non-zero, here non-zero and you have one more non-zero value. If I consider rank of A, then I will consider only this A. If I see what is there inside the circle, I have two non-zero rows. So, I have written rank of A is 2. If I see rank of A is to B, the entire what is there in the bracket. So, there is 1 minus 3 here. So, this is 3. So, rank of A is not equal to rank of B. So, the system is inconsistent or we can say no solution. No solution. Now, let us see a problem that contains infinite solution. Now, consider this example that is the given set of equations. So, we are writing the augmented matrix. So, coefficient of x is 1 and this is 2 and this is 3. We have written 14. Similarly, I have written the coefficients of all the other three, uh, all the other two equations. Now, if you see as per Gauss elimination, this should be a non-zero one. If it is one, it's easy for our transaction. So, I have to make this and this first zero and then I have to make this as the uh, third priority. So, to make this 0, here 4 and we have 1. So, I will write R2 goes to R2 minus 4 R1 and R3 goes to R3 minus 3 R1 because we have 3 here. So, um, you can write these things. So, R2 goes to, so I have written R2 values 4, 5, 7 minus 4 into R1 minus 4 into this 1 minus 4 into 2 minus 4 into 3 minus 4 into 14. Similarly, R3 minus 3 into R1. R3 we have already 3, 3, 4. These are already existing elements minus 3 times this 1, minus 3 times this 2 here, minus 3 times this 3. So, when you simplify, you will get this. Okay, try to simplify. Now, if you see here, if you see here, these values are same, minus 3, minus 5, minus 21 and the previous one. So, if I do the transaction, R3 goes to R3 minus R2, this entire row 3 will become 0. So, now if you see, what is rank of E means? This one, this one rank. So, rank of E is number of non-zero rows are 2. And then rank of A is to B is, again, this is also 2 because the last row is entirely 0. But we have the number of unknowns as 3. So, if you see here, in this case, as we discussed, 3, the value of 3 is greater than the rank. That is, 3 is greater than 2. It means the system is consistent and we have infinite solution. So, here we have discussed about infinite solution and uh, no solution that is inconsistent and one example in Gauss elimination that shows uh, an example of unique solution. These are the three cases. Thank you.